This is where we'll play today. Found this nice birch tree that will provide us with our fire starter. Great stuff. We're here in the woods today to conduct an experiment using the IKEA fire pot uh, to see if we can um, supercharge this thing and make it uh, burn like a traditional wood gas stove. And I have in mind uh, the way the uh, Lixada stainless steel wood gas stove works. So let's open it up. Lots of folks are familiar with the IKEA fire pot. And um, what I'm going to do this time that I've never done before is elevate the pot and add a uh, windscreen. The way I intend to elevate it is just using this little, uh, this is a pot sand that actually came with the Lixada wood gas stove, but I don't need it. Uh, so I'm going to steal it and use it for this application. So I'll just set that down there. Pot sits on top. So we've had a good deal of rain, so I've been very selective about uh, the wood that I'm using. I'm not picking anything up off the ground directly. I'm looking for standing dead twigs. So I've loaded it up to the uh, level of my pot stands, which are locked in place. And uh, I'll put my tinder on top and throw a couple more sticks on top. And we'll give it a light. There we go. All right, so this is the first time I've tried this. So let's cross our fingers, see what happens. I had to blow on it a couple of times uh, to get it going. Wood is very damp here. But at this point, uh, I'd say we're about two minutes in, three minutes maybe. It's burning nicely. And uh, I'm going to stir the sticks on top so I can get my pot on the pot stand. kind of screwed up because I didn't get my pot stands in there right so my pot is leaning and it's not as efficient as it should be but this thing is definitely burning well. So we've got our boil. That's good. Easy squeezy, nothing to it. And uh, there's still plenty of combustible material in there. I'm just going to keep it going because I like to have a little campfire while I eat. And I'll just add a few twigs while we're sitting here. Listen to the birds. Look at that. That's what you want. <laughs> That's beautiful. Can I get a get down? So the beauty of this twig stove, or any twig stove for that matter, is once they get going, and this is going really well, you can add, I just picked this up off the forest floor, it's really damp and wet and soggy, but you can add stuff like that in, and there's enough heat in there, <laughs> it'll dry this sucker out and burn it easy as you please. Here is a, an observation on twig stove versus a campfire. With a campfire, you burn large pieces of wood that throw off sparks. Twigs don't do that. They are silent. They are silent burners. It's crazy how this flame is playing with the light sensor on my camera. <laughs> so this is all self-contained. No sparks flying off into the woods. Uh, normally, if 
I go camping, I would clear an area of any combustible debris so I just, you know, don't take any chances. Here it's so wet, I'm not really concerned about that today. So what is this? Is this an open fire or is it a stove? Good question. Well, final thoughts. Compared to the uh, Lixada stainless steel wood gas stove, the IKEA fire pot is mm, is close. It has more fiddle factor. It will smoke more, um, but this wood stove was designed for this particular pot, so it works great. And um, because of its larger size, you can put a lot more wood in it. Um, if I had to choose between this and the other, I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. That's all I got to say about that. The sound of the rain. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, I have to say, our little experiment was perfectly timed because the rain has come. And uh, I did put out all the ashes and everything with some water. But, you know, a little insurance never hurt. Mm.